Hello friends, it's a beautiful October day here in southern Indiana. Let's go out there and see if we can find some mushrooms. Okay, here's something interesting. Ah. Look at that big mushroom. Look at that one, it's really big. You can see how it just threw kind of around and through the stick here. Super giant. Um, I believe this is Inonotus dryadius, or the weeping oak bracket, weeping conch. Um, this is a little older, it comes out in the summer, and it has these like porous CD tubes that weep an amber liquid. So it looks like it's bleeding, it's pretty gnarly. Um, I've got a picture of one from earlier in the year I can show you. But wow, that is just a really big mushroom, pretty cool. All right, let's move on. All right. Got a bunch of dryad saddles up here. Cool. So yeah, this is a spring and summer uh, mushroom. It's when it comes out, it is edible. When it is young, these are way too far gone. But it is the type of fungus that's likely to come back in the same place every year. So I'm gonna come back in the spring or in the summer and make a video of then and hopefully maybe eat some of these dryad saddles so let's keep going oh wow look at all these resinous polypores on this old beech tree they're all the way up and down really cool yeah this mushroom uh will be on hardwoods Oaks, beaches, late October and fall. There's some more here. And if you see up here, this whole tree is covered in them, both sides. There's some kind of older ones. Really cool. So, just in time for Halloween, this is another bloody fungus you can see why it's called the resinous polypore is that it bleeds this amber liquid so yeah resinous polypore late fall polypore stake of the woods uh, you can see when it's young it's kind of squishier has a lot of water in there and gets older it'll thin out and get harder and you know fan out and get quite big almost you know 12 inches wide it's some of these um, but yeah, when it's young, it's very squishy, doughy, very wet. Lots of water in there. Um, it does kind of stain brown a little bit on the white parts when you touch it as well. But yeah, not many things that uh, look like it other than maybe the reishi, but the reishi is, is shiny. I'm looking forward to trying this one tonight. All right, let's give it a try. That's a tasty mushroom, pillowy, soft, good mushroom flavor. No really weird aftertaste or anything like that. I think more people should be talking about the late fall polypore, steak of the woods, resinous polypore, underappreciated perhaps. See you next time.